please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. After an aborted start in February, the eBay bill is finally here. Around 1.7 lakh eBay bills were generated on the 1st of April. In fact, that number has now been revised higher to about 2.59 lakh eBay bills. And on the 2nd of April, uh, about 2.89 lakh eBay bills have been rolled out. So that was the number till the first half of April, and that number has now gone up further. So far, about 10 lakh 96,000 taxpayers have registered on the eBay bill portal from now on transporters and businesses will need to generate an invoice for moving goods worth more than 50,000 rupees from one state to another intrastate eBay bills will start in a staggered fashion from 15th of April the rollout of the eBay bill comes at a time when GST collections have not been particularly encouraging GST collections for February have now moved higher they have crossed 89,000 crores coming in at 89,264 crores so far so will the eBay bills result in higher GST revenues? More importantly, is the eBay bill system ready to cope with the deluge of invoices? Not just that, the government has given us an update on refunds as well. Remember, there was a, a big issue with exporters and also the direct tax numbers now being given out by the government saying that they're confident of being able to meet the fiscal deficit target. We will be joined by our panel of GST experts and tax experts in just a bit. But first up, uh, let's uh, go across to our team of reporters from across metros. They will give us an update on how the eBay bill rollout has been so far. Here's the Finance Secretary, Hasmuk Adia, giving us the latest GST numbers before we get to our ground reports. This month, in March, we have the interim figure of 86. Now, it's already 89,264. So we are close to 90 now, end of March. And this is in spite of the fact that February was a month of 28 days. Then the March collection is good because the compliance is also big. Some of our state and central government officers have been back to them. And the other thing is that people want to clear their own liability in March. The e-way bill has been rolled out for two days. The system has been rolled out. It has been a rolled out. It has been a very successful roll out. So far, there is no glitch at all found. And so, I must compliment our team of uh, technical officers who have, although they took two months to make it perfect, but now at least uh, the eBay bill is on its way. Well, that is the finance secretary saying that things have stabilized on the GST front, including uh, things like the eBay bill, which started on the 1st of April. Our reporters are traveling to different trade and transport hubs across the country to find out what's happening on the ground. Let's go across to Nithya Balakrishnan, joining us now from Hyderabad on day two of the eBay bill rollout. Nithya, what have you found? This transport hub at Ranigarh in Telangana transforms magically every night at 8 p.m. where goods are transported to Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Kerala and Andhra Pradesh from this region. Let's find out from companies as well as logistics firms here whether generation of an e-way bill post today is an exercise they find easier than when the government tried it first. अब हर दुकान में से जो एसएमएस करो उतना तो टाइम मिलेगा नहीं, उतना इजी तो नहीं है। 500 किलोमीटर, 1000 किलोमीटर, 2000 किलोमीटर गवर्नमेंट है फिक्स्ड डेट, 5 डेज, 10 डेज, 15 डेज, 20 डेज। Unless until the vehicle is fully loaded, they get the amicable material to load the vehicle. They are not going to start the vehicle because ultimately loss for them. So how these things is going to happen? The biggest concerns for companies as well as logistics firms alike is whether the GST network will support generation of e-way bills as they're still wary from the exercise the first time around. In Ranigan here in Hyderabad, companies believe that since the generation of e-way bills has been fixed, this time around could yield different results. E-way bill is good and good. It was good for you. Yes, it was good for you. Is there no problem online? Yes, there is no problem. While online generation of the e-way bill seems seamless so far on day one here in Hyderabad, the big concern remains the adaptability of SMEs and smaller transporters on e-way bill and the process for the same. Nitya Balakrishnan, CNBC TV 18, Hyderabad. 
All right, so that's uh, Hyderabad checking in, and we'll go across to other states in just a bit. Joining us now, MS Money partner Deloitte India, Uday Pimprikar partner EYV, Lakshmi Kumaran, managing partner Lakshmi Kumaran and Sridharan, and Rohan Shah, tax expert. Gentlemen, appreciate you joining us here uh, on the program. Uh, uh, Money, let me start by asking you first uh, the revised number that we've got from the finance secretary there in terms of the GST revenue collection, 89,264. That is the number for the month of February now in March. First, a quick comment on that because uh, we've now started, it looks like we're edged back to that 90,000 crore number. I think it's an excellent uh, number to have for a month which was short in terms of number of days. And uh, 90,000, we must remember, has got some kind, I would say, a psychological bearing. Because when GST started out, we were 92,000 and 93,000. So reaching 90,000 is something which is yeah. excellent. Uh, in a situation which this is on the back of rates which were cut in the month of November from 28 to 18, uh, considering the fact that the anti-evasion measures like e-way bill, reverse charge and all have not come into force. So keeping that in mind, a number for a shorter compressed month like February, inching up close to 90,000 is very good news, I would say. Mm. Good news uh, is what you're saying. Uh, uh, Mr. Shah, let me go across to you. So after that aborted attempt in February, the eBay bill is here. Uh, we've seen day one and day two, the numbers coming in. 2.59 uh, uh, lakhs was the number for day one and about 2.89 lakhs so far is the number that the finance secretary has shared for day two in terms of the eBay bill. Also, the GSTN chief uh, uh, pointing out that in their assessment on the back of the number of invoices, etc., they've been able to process so far, they feel that the GSTN has stabilized now. It certainly seems like... Uh you know, this time around, not only are they better prepared, but, you know, they've thought through and provided for all of the anticipated glitches. Uh, I think, you know, this is still early days, uh, but the early days are showing good signs. Uh, we really need to test this in the context of a full load uh, when, you know, you will have uh, far greater transactions taking place, far greater participation because more mm. people are effectively registered. Uh, but the network seems to suggest that up to 75 lakh e-way bills a day is what they are capable of taking. And uh, right now, I think yeah. they seem on course. And that's good news. It's good news because A, trade will be facilitated. You know, my biggest worry with e-way bills is it shouldn't disrupt trade. Uh, and the second situation mm. is uh, yeah. the, the numbers that we heard of in terms of revenue collection I think the authorities are very confident mm. that with the eBay bill, they'll see, you see an upsurge in that. And, you know, you will, again, I think in the next yeah. few days, see the reverse charge mechanism come into play. So all in all, I think, uh, you know, the eBay bill seems on its way. And I think we are moving to a slightly higher level of tax collection and predictability, all of which I think is good news for GST. Mm. Okay. Uh, I also want to pick up on the other crucial aspect, and that was the controversy over stuck refunds to exporters. The CBEC chief giving us details. Now, remember that uh, refund fortnight has also ended. So, IGST refunds of 9,604 crores given out so far. Total GST refunds stand at about 33,000 crore rupees. Uh, according to the finance secretary, he said that what, was, uh, what has been given out so far uh, in terms of the refunds is uh, about 24 odd thousand crores. Uh, uh, Mr. Lakshmi Koran, uh, your comments, sir, on the refund picture? Uh, it's a welcome news. In fact, uh, about a month back, uh, we were getting lots of uh, criticism and complaints about the non-granting of refunds. And then uh, uh, Mr. Pendra Gupta was saying that he has issued some circulars. And based on the circulars, the field office seems to have acted. And in the month of March, I think if they have uh, dispersed so much of refunds, about 34,000 crores, it's a good news. That's, I think, the first thing we must say. And once the exporters stabilize, otherwise we know that uh, the GST is going to definitely help the exporters to transparently fix the price. And once this stabilization takes place, yeah. uh, the refunds are also in the regular pipeline. We can expect the mm. real growth in exports.
Right. Uh, in fact, I just want to clarify for the benefit of our viewers, there's so many numbers that are floating around. So what uh, they did say was that 24,000 crore rupees is the number that is uh, stuck because of export-related, GST-related uh, uh, issues for exporters. And of that, GST refunds of 17,616 crore rupees have been given till now. This includes the IGST refund. And I gave you the breakup of that IGST refund, about 9,600-odd crores. So that's the breakup that's come in as far as the refunds are concerned from the government. Uh, uh, but... Uh, uh, let me go across to Mr. Pimprikar. Uh, you know, now, given what we are seeing, both in terms of revenue collections as well as what we are seeing from uh, uh, the export-related issues being resolved, etc., do you believe that uh, a lot more of the enforcement is likely to kick in uh, as the government gets ready to sort of pick up on the revenue collection front, given the fact that now eBay bill has also started out? Do you expect more enforcement measures, Uday? Uh, absolutely. Uh... Absolutely. I think, I think uh, over the next uh, three, four months, uh, the government is going to start again looking at the revenue numbers. Uh, the government is also has already a huge amount of data with them. And, uh, and as we have seen in the past, whereby uh, the, the interaction with the industry by the revenue collectors was fairly measured. Uh, to my mind, eventually, uh, uh, the administration will start doing its job. Administration would necessarily go ahead and see areas of leakages, identify which now they are far more uh, able to do, uh, given that they have a significant amount of real-time information. Hmm. And, uh, and, uh, and right. uh, I think across the country, you're going to see uh, fairly sharp uh, inquiries and investigations starting. Uh, and as long as uh, the government goes ahead and and and, uh, and is is, uh, se is sensitive to the fact that this is a new law and uh, maybe there are errors and those kind of things and uh, take the industry together in this revenue collection i think i think it will be a uh, it will be the hmm. next step forward yeah Okay, next step forward. Uh, you know, even in terms of the direct tax uh, numbers, and uh, Mr. Shah, I'm just taking a look at the direct tax breakup that's come in from the government. Uh, they're saying that they are going to be able to meet the uh, fiscal deficit target of 3.5% provisional figures of direct tax collections for FI. 17, 18 show that net collections are at 9.95 lakh crores, which is 17.1% higher than the net collections for FI 16, 17. Uh, the tax collections represent 101.5% of the budget estimates uh, and 99% of the revised estimates. Uh, so on the direct tax front also, uh, a quick comment from you, Mr. Shah. So again, I think... Uh uh, overall, something for all of us to be pleased about, 17% growth. Uh, the other issue uh, is that, you know, as I see the last year, and I'm now talking sentiment with clients and especially international clients, I think yeah. for the first time yeah. uh, they are probably seeing that, you know, last year has not been as litigious, has not been as aggressive in terms of at least the focus uh, on the international players who have FDI in India. So if basically we are getting buoyancy mm. on the back of better numbers in terms of profitability, then I think that's a win-win all around because government is collecting more and industry is not really feeling the pain of tax being extracted, but it's just a compliance and payment issue. Mm. So again, I believe a good sign and, uh, you know, as I said, at least as far as some of the foreign clients are concerned, they believe in the last year, there's been easing off of this more confrontational approach to collection on direct tax. Okay. Uh, now, in terms of next tax uh, money, and let me come back to you. Uh, you know, from the 15th of April is when we'll start to see the staggered rollout as far as the intrastate eBay bills are concerned. Uh, next steps that you would watch out for from here on. And from here on, one very interesting statistics which uh, possibly some of us may not have noticed is the fact that while there are mm. 105 lakh SSEs registered on the GSTN for filing of returns, there are around 11 lakh people who have registered on the eBay bill portal, which means around 10%. Now, the remaining 90%, I'm sure, is not merely 
service providers not having transaction in goods and many others who are not covered. So one area which I would watch out for is the increasing number of registrations on the e-way bill portal. So that if we see a jump over the next one week or two weeks, we, we should realize that the e-way bill okay. is becoming more and more acceptable. I would also watch out for the changes in reverse charge. Uh, last week, I believe uh, a committee hmm. headed by Mr. Sushil Modi has been appointed to go into it and they have been given a time of approximately four weeks. So by the end of the month, by the time okay. eBay bill stabilizes, we will also hear something from them right. in terms of what is the fate of reverse charge as a whole. Uh, very interestingly, hmm. since the eBay bill on intrastate is being rolled out four states, five states at a time, this is something which is going to cause a bit hmm. of disruption to all India players. Because all India companies which have operations okay. in 29 states will now need to change their software. They will need to change a bit of the other processes that they have to do with dispatches and supply chain, taking care of the fact that four states are going mm. to come on board on 15th, four states later, and so on. So there is going to be a temporary period of disruption, and we'll have to wait and watch for that period. Okay, wait and watch for that period. But let's go across to Bangalore now. Our colleague uh, Rukmini Rao tells us what's going on there. Rukmini. So Karnataka, which had e sugama under the VAT regime, e wables is not something new that traders uh, will have to deal with. But however, uh, people who have been trying to access uh, the e wables system and trying to upload uh, the data have been uh, found uh, receiving some kind of technical complaints. Of course, traders that we spoke to said that uh, CAPTCHA was not functioning for a long, long time. Along with that, uh, the bulk uploading of uh, uh, the eBay bills has been taking way too much time or uh, getting timed out. And similarly, these are the kind of problems which even the GSA helpline in Karnataka has been receiving calls throughout the day about. The software is also not ready. They're telling us there are a couple of other ways with which you can handle each, uh, situations like us. For example, I am a wholesale trader and uh, if I'm supplying to restaurants, each bill would contain about uh, 80 items, 100 items and on average. So if I have to upload this individually onto the computer, uh, the problems that I have faced is, it's a time consuming process because I've already built and the same thing I'll have to do over the li online. And once I finish everything, it says uh, time expired. All right, uh, that's the ground report there from uh, Bangalore. But uh, let me get closing comments from our guests. Uh, I'll start with you, Mr. Lakshmi Kumaran. Uh, in terms of next steps now, sir, what is it that you will be watching out for? Uh, <clears throat> I will be watching for the uh, rolling out of uh, EV bill for the intrastate by other states. That will definitely reduce the so-called evasion. I agree with Revenue Secretary on this point. And uh, once the committee report comes on reverse charge, it will also further tighten. Coupled with that, mm. the enforcement machinery of the government also acts properly and uh, crack the whip. I think the compliance will go up and uh, the revenue is also likely to go up. Uday, quick word from you. <clears throat> I think uh, at least partly in terms of uh, getting this entire uh, activity out in terms of uh, the revenue bit. To my mind, March should definitely cross uh, a trillion. And uh, I mean, mind you, this 90,000 is is uh, not including composition, uh, you know, uh, composition taxpayers paying tax, and that should be another four, five thousand yeah. crores. So, to my mind, uh, March should be good. I think hopefully it gives that much more mm. uh, uh, confidence to the to the administrators. The next thing I would I would expect mm. to happen is at the administration there is a there is a whole lot of uh, activity uh, related to changes in the law the the fact that they are calling it GST uh, right. phase two that I think needs to be taken up uh, right mm. away uh, and also uh, when okay. they are going to start the the overall uh, uh, recognition of or highlighting areas of evasion hopefully they are sensitive to the fact that this mm. is a new law. And uh, I mean, this positive sentiment needs to continue for some time to, to make this uh, tax a success. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, uh, we will have to leave it there. Uday, Mr. Shah, uh, Mr. Lakshmi Kumaran, and Mani, thanks very much for joining us here on the CNBC TV18 special GST centimeter as we take stock of the latest numbers that have come in on the GST front. But.
Uh, there's two interesting developments that we do need to take note of. News just coming in, some relief for banks. The Reserve Bank has allowed banks to provide for bond losses in the third and fourth quarter. Over the next four quarters, bond deals have been hardening over the last few weeks. Lata joins us now with more. Lata, what does this mean for